Hello to you guys, Mac here, and today I'm going to talk about the Ill-Gotten Gains update part 2, and my thoughts on it, and is it more of the same of what we've seen in the Ill-Gotten Gains update part 1. So recently, Rockstar put out a post on their newswire, and they talked about the Ill-Gotten Gains update part 2 for GTA 5 and GTA Online. I'll also have a link in the description if you want to go check out a video I made on it, and it talks about all the new vehicles, and all you know most of the new content that we'll be seeing with the update and it's going to be coming out next week on wednesday july 8th and the more i've looked at this and the more i look at the new vehicles and the new content in this update it honestly just feels more of the same honestly and it's just something about what we're going to be getting it just doesn't feel new enough it doesn't feel as unique as you know some other updates and i saw a post on reddit and it was an imgur link and i'll have the link down in the description it's from lord fairfax and he put together the new vehicles or most of the new vehicles and he put them together side by side with other existing vehicles and if you want to go check out the examples then they are pretty convincing uh that they do look almost exactly the same on a, quite a few of these vehicles uh, especially on like the Lampadaddy Toro if you haven't seen the Lampadaddy Toro it's like a boat with a wooden finish it's like a speeder boat and honestly and this is whenever I saw the boat I thought it looked almost exactly like the the Pegasi speeder which if you remember back the Pegasi speeder was a free boat for the beach bum update it used to be free uh now it cost money I don't know exactly how much it cost but now it does actually cost money but it used to be free, and now they're going to charge money for this this vehicle. And it's honestly probably going to be quite a bit, because it's a boat. You know, who knows how much it will cost. I mean, some of the boats aren't too expensive, but some are. So, you know, we don't know exactly uh, how much that is going to cost. But it honestly looks almost exactly the same. You know, if you look at the Speeder and the Lampadetti Toro side by side, they look almost exactly the same. Another vehicle is the Coquette Classic Blackfin, and whenever I saw this vehicle, I was like, this looks almost exactly like the Casco. Maybe not the back so much, the back will probably have the uh, Coquette Classic look, but the front honestly looks a lot like the Casco. And same with the Progen T20. The Progen T20, see to me, it looks a lot like the Osiris and the Turismo. Maybe more like the Turismo because it looks a little lower to the ground like just like the turismo but i just feel like it looks so much like the turismo same with the chino and the virgo they look very similar and same with the dinka thrust and the dinka vindicator they look almost exactly the same and even a lot of the other items in this update the uh, marksman pistol it looks a lot like the musket it just looks like a kind of a reskinned musket honestly i mean it's gonna act pretty similar because it's a single shot weapon and in my opinion it just doesn't seem super interesting and same with the knuckle dusters sure they look kind of cool and they look kind of unique but to be honest we already have so many melee weapons that are all pretty much exactly the same in game this isn't going to be really any different unless it has like some cool animation or something which i doubt it's probably going to have the same exact animation that you have with your regular fist. And I know we've only seen really one screenshot for each vehicle and each weapon and all that. But honestly, they just don't look that unique. And I know we've only really seen the front of these vehicles. So, you know, we don't know what how the back is going to look. Because whenever they show off the vehicle, they're usually going to show off the front. And I know that this is an ill gotten Games update part 2. So it's a part 2 to what part 1 had. And even if you look at the first update, you have the reskinned Luxor and the swift and you know my question with this video is is rockstar running out of ideas because honestly i kind of feel like they may be running out of ideas and honestly it kind of makes sense i mean rockstar has been doing free dlcs for a long time and i feel like with these free dlcs they kind of are running out of a few ideas and it just feels like rockstar is running out of ideas with their new updates because, you know, we're getting a new supercar, or, you know, they haven't confirmed whether the vehicle is going to be a new supercar, but I'm almost certain that's going to be a new a new supercar. So we have the new Progen T20. It just is probably going to act very similar to the Turismo, Osiris, Entity, Zentorno, and Cheetah, and all those supercars. And it's probably going to act very similar to those. And same with the Lampadetti Toro. What is the Lampadaddy Toro going to be different than the Speeder? 
which I already have. So what's the point of buying the Lampadetti Toro? And I want to ask you guys, do you think that Rockstar is running out of ideas with this update? So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Are you excited for this update or not? And do you think that Rockstar is actually running out of ideas for this update? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Hope you enjoy. Feedback, so appreciate. I'll see you guys in the next video.